I'm a libertarian. I want government to protect me from those who would rob me or kill me. And then government should leave us alone. I don't want to be taxed and regulated to death. Government should butt out of most of life. That's why a few weeks ago for a show on the nanny state, I called the regulators who want to bully us into eating what they consider healthy food, the food police. I thought I was joking. But then this week, I saw this video. It shows police with guns drawn raiding Rossum Foods in Venice, California. Their crime? Selling unpasteurized milk. This is crazy. I mean, I think the health nuts who want to eat raw food are crazy too, but they ought to have the right to try dumb things on their own bodies without police pulling guns. But this is what happens when government grows too big. Because I say things like that and complain about intrusive government, some people call me a conservative. I'm okay with that. Conservatives suggest part of what I believe. We libertarians want to conserve the principles of limited government that the founders set out in here. This is the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. This is supposed to limit the power of the state. There's nothing in here about what Americans ought to be allowed to eat. There's nothing here about sex. Which brings us back to tonight's topics. The rules about sex videos, gays in the military, and locking up teams for consensual sex. Here I have to part company with some conservatives. I fail to see why gays cannot serve in the military, or why we have that silly policy. It's self-destructive for America to kick out soldiers who speak Arabic. We need more soldiers who speak Arabic. And to fight terrorism, we need all the talented soldiers we can recruit. I don't get why my government wants to prosecute some pornographers. Some of their porn is creepy, but no one's forced to buy it. And far creepier porn's all over the internet. That cat is long out of the bag. Also, I don't want teens to have sex, but they do. Look at the CDC's survey of teen sexual activity. By age 17, almost half have had sex. By 18, most have. But because some parents complain or some prosecutors eager to send a message, we're going to put some teens in jail for that? That's not fair. And finally, I don't think sex in the public square is nice. Some of it is repulsive. But government shouldn't ban it. Conservatives have argued that we should because it leads to sexual violence. But that has not happened. Kids today have access to more images of sex and deviant sex than ever before in history. And yet, teen sexual violence is down, steadily down. The state should stop trying to protect Americans from sex. The state has no business there. And this is one of the reasons I call myself a libertarian not a conservative. Maybe I got the idea from economic philosopher F.A. Hayek in an essay titled, Why I Am Not a Conservative, Hayek wrote, conservatives have a fear of change, a distrust of the new, while the liberal, what P called liberal, we today call libertarian, the liberal position is based on courage to let change run its course, even if we cannot predict where it will lead. Letting change run its unpredictable course is scary. There's a lot in the culture that's crude and, I think, unfit for children, if not for adults, too. It coarsens the culture. But that's okay. It's part of freedom. We have to take the bad with the good. I'm with Hayek. Government should keep the peace and then leave us alone. And that's our show for tonight. I'm John Stossel. See you next week.